Hi, this video is going to be about uh, getting my driving license. First of all, we're going to head through to Calapan and uh, watch the video there. And then it did take two days, as it will be explained in the video. Uh, and then I'll walk you through or talk you through the uh, actual procedure for getting your license. So, uh, but that's just for Calapan, it might vary in different places. Anyway, here we go. Well, after coming up a very bumpy road in Calapan to the LTO, and I've filled in all the documentation and everything to get my driving license. However, it's very busy uh, today, so they've uh, suggested to me that dirt my lens. Uh, they've, they've told me it's probably better to come back tomorrow. I don't know, everybody in the Philippines must get a driving license for their Christmas because it's absolutely hoaching in there. Really, really busy. And maybe with me having a, a foreign driving license, it's just going to take a wee bit longer than the rest. So they've told me that they come back tomorrow or Friday. Um, but I'll, I'll walk you through the, the process so far. What happened was, and I'll just turn this camera a wee bit, I walked into this uh, place here, and it's a bit hectic in there, a bit busy, but uh, I spoke to a very nice lady at the information, and she sent me down past the emissions testing station to this building down here. So this is the building I'm talking about. I get sent down here. It's directly opposite uh, the gate that you come in. There's a sentry in that guard box there. And there it is. You go in there and you get your passport photocopied, your uh, ACI card, uh, ID card from the Philippines, and your passport, uh, date of entry, and uh, the main page, your photographic page. And then you go in, you go over to the other side and, you, hold on a sec now, it costs 13 pesos for the, costs 13 pesos to get the copies, which is very reasonable. And the, the medical examination that you get in there as well, you go up to the desk, you, pay your 250 pesos, you get a number, you sit down, and when it's your turn, they shout your number, and off you go and get a medical. The medical consists of a, you get weighed, which wasn't a nice experience for me. Uh, height, again, not very nice. I've lost two inches, would you believe, since I was in the army. Uh, that's something to do with my neck, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, what else? They took my blood pressure, which was good, which I'm happy about. And there was one other, oh, sight. They make you take a, a wee eye test. I couldn't read the bottom line. Uh, I used to be so proud of that. I used to be able to read the Made in India uh, part of it. But now, uh, yeah, it was the third line that I could read, but uh, I was still still a pass. So that's it so far, and uh, I'm trying to make up my mind now whether to stay in Calapan the night, because I've no change of clothes with me at hand, or go back to Porta Galera. Uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'll show you the rest of this uh, once it comes in. Buy the new. Well, I did go back to uh, Porta Galera uh, with no problems, had a good sleep, and went back first thing in the morning, uh, and it was absolutely pissing down. So I never actually got uh, much filming done. However, uh, I'll put up a picture of uh, inside that building and try and walk you through it. Firstly, you go to the reception desk and uh, there's a nice wee wifey there 
and she gives you all the forms that you've got to fill in. They're quite straightforward. Uh, try taking uh, an extra kin, details about an extra kin, phone number, um, uh, address, things like that. Um, and yeah, so she gives you the forms, you fill them in, you go back to her, she checks them. She might even get one of the guys from behind the counters to come round and have a look because you're a, a special guy, because you don't understand anything. Uh, then they'll send you to um, window one. Now window one is uh, you hand in your documents, they check them over, put them on the computer, they'll give you a wee bit of paper back. You'll have a wee while to wait, maybe 15, 20 minutes. Actually, you have about 15 to 20 minutes on each each time you move from uh, window to window. Uh, I stood there in that queue the whole time uh, because my name's Cruikshank and they can't really pronounce it very well. So I stood there, just I, I didn't miss my turn. But you now knowing that uh, it takes about 15, 20 minutes, uh, can go for a wee walk or uh, or outside maybe you've got a flask of coffee with you I don't know but you've got a wee bit of time and then get back there listen for your name anyway uh, yeah you're at uh, gate one then uh, you're sent to gate three where they take your photograph and the uh, sample uh, electronic signature they give you a bit of paper and then you head over to uh, gate 8 or window 8 uh, where you uh, pay your money. After gate 8 you're sent back to go to window 4 and again you've got your 15-20 minutes to wait and you'll get called forward there and um, there you get your photograph taken again you get your fingerprints taken and uh, again an electronic signature. Um, the funny one on this one was uh, she says what colour of eyes have you got? And I says uh, blue and she says I can see that but you've got to pick grey, brown or black. Uh, what? And she says the system doesn't have blue on it. So I picked grey, so now I'm officially a grey-eyed bloke in the Philippines. Anyway, after that, uh, what do you do then? Uh, you hang about and then you're called forward to, uh, I think it was uh, window one, and you get issued with your card. So, once you're issued with your card, uh, you're free to go. I went over to the, the wee wifey at the reception and thanked her for her help because she was really helpful towards me. Actually they all were. And out of the offices I've been to, the official type offices I've been to so far, this must be, although it was the busiest, uh, it's probably been the most professional. I've been to uh, get driving licenses and uh, tax registrations, etc., etc., car registrations in different countries, and they're all a bit shambolic as far as lots of people uh, hanging about and going from window to window, and so on and so forth. And this was no different, and there was no money handed over that there wasn't a receipt given for, and I found the whole process uh, very good. It will take you about five hours. Uh, it, it may only take three on a, a quiet day, I just don't know. But it took me uh, about five uh, in total uh, between the two days. So, uh, yeah, just don't go at Christmas after they've all got their, I don't know, driving lessons or something. Or uh, maybe they get cars for Christmas, I don't know. But between Christmas and New Year is not the day to go to get your license. Anyway, hope this has been helpful and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye the new.